What's up, everybody out there in YouTube world? Show girl, Interstellar Perspective, um, formerly um, Conspiracy Row. You know what I'm saying? You can still call me that if you want to, but you know, I want to be caught. My channel will be caught, Interstellar Perspective. So, um, real quick, I want to come on here and talk about Diddy. Um, cause you know, the Keefe D stuff is still everywhere. It's still like major news everywhere, all over YouTube, all over the internet. It's still the rave, you know, it's still what everybody's talking about. So I was watching a video, excuse me. I was watching a video on Crumb TV and they was talking about is that is Vlad the police or whatever, which he definitely is Vlad the police and Kanye Ben broke that down for us. Um, I was talking about it in my video yesterday how these people are literally CIA um, allegedly Vlad his trainer and a couple other people that we don't know about who are slowly um, being exposed however um, yeah I do feel like he's the police or works with the police he's some kind of intel like what is he supposed to be just a journalist a hood journalist like what is vlad like russian vladimir like so he woke up one day and wanted to be a hip-hop journalist no he he's like hip-hop police he's like a hip-hop and police investigative detective is what he is but anyway so um yeah and they was talking about Vlad the police and they were talking about Keefe D and you know with him getting um caught up in these charges is did he worry should did he be worried and y'all is he worried he been worried you know what I'm saying like he tried to get ahead of it like all of that was a publicity stunt for Diddy he tried to get ahead of the news you know with his album rollout and um all is love you know he got these big talks about love and he's talking about um frequencies and the positive frequency and high frequencies and letting negativity go and not entertaining all this foolishness on stage dancing with his kids trying to portray himself more of like a family man which he is supposed to have that reality tv show coming out with his kids or something i don't know but um it, and he gave the masters back to all his artists, you know, even though it wasn't worth much. They said he um, he gave it back after he sucked the life out of it. But he did all of this to put some kind of shine, some kind of positive light on himself because he knew this stuff was about to come out. It didn't come out by surprise. Shit, I think Jada Pickett knew it was about to come out. How her ass was just posting videos and stuff. Like, ain't it funny the timing of all these things? Like, randomly Jada Pinkett just posts a video about Tupac and then now um his murderer get caught not to mention Bupak Shakur from Pontiac I'm from Pontiac um was killed the same day that Tupac uh murderer get arrested not to mention um the the Super Bowl being announced that it's in Vegas you get what I'm saying not to mention Usher is going to be performing there and we all know Usher was groomed by Diddy. Uh, you get what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy. And um, just on the sidebar, like, we do always talk about like Illuminati this, Illuminati that. And yeah, they may have a hand in some stuff, but they not all powerful and they not all knowing. And what we really may be witnessing is like, <laughs> for real, it's, it, it's a quantum it's like a quantum collapse you know like all of these energies just pulling together and entangling it's like literally entanglement right with jada and it's like it, it's all have something to do with each other like it's all connected like it was all supposed to happen this way so um back on back to diddy though something interesting that diddy said like getting back on like the illuminati side of things something interesting that diddy said <laughs> when he was on the um radio and he had actually he didn't say it once he had actually said it several times he had actually said it like on a live or something he was like he wants souls when he was on the breakfast club he was telling them how like basically he not doing it for sales like he wants souls and that was a very interesting thing for him to say like 
because you know we do think that y'all into like that sacrifice and stuff so do you need souls so that you can are souls like currency where you can buy yourself up out of this situation or what do you mean by you need souls you're not even you're not a gospel artist you want souls for your r&b album but that's neither here nor there so yeah did he say he needs souls y'all which is crazy so i don't know i just wanted to come on here and speak on that real quick i'm definitely going to come back and do like a real video like a full live where we can really really get deep into it you see i made a whole list of stuff i want to talk about um when it comes to these words like the origin what are words the origin um the etymology um the stuff with tupac and bupac and the gematria shout out to lod versus the internet and what all this have to do with 50 years of hip-hop with tupac being like a, a staple in the hip-hop community and how all these things are quantum entangling um how all these words are like or all yeah how all these names or words are are attached to a number and or attached to a frequency which is attached to a number you know and how they use it to program us um i also have a book at home that i want to share with y'all it's called soul contract decoded and in the um book it, it it breaks down your name like it does it just like gematria to be honest it breaks down your name and it um into numbers and then it comes up with the number and it shows like based off of your name what was your soul contract so it's like what's in the name you know um so yeah we gotta come back and do all of this to talk about because there's some real deep stuff going on you know but this tupac stuff is really interesting how they just harvesting on his energy from jada pinkett to shit at this point will smith i don't i don't doubt that will smith not in on it anymore allegedly like because come on you so you just cool with it you ain't left her you ain't checked her you just smacked everybody butter but you would know, we just gonna leave that alone diddy it seemed like he kind of feasting off this energy like even with him putting out the album of all things around this same i don't know it's just weird but we're gonna come back we're gonna chop it up we're gonna talk about all that so i love y'all don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you're not a subscriber and i'll talk to y'all later